Okay, I just want to do a quick video here about managing files in Canvas. So here I am logged into my course and if I go over here to the left hand course menu you can see all of the items that are both available to the students and those are the ones that are sort of in a darker tint and then the ones that are only available to faculty users and those are the ones that are sort of grayed out and if I go right down to the bottom you'll see that there's one here called files so if I click on that it'll actually bring up the file manager and the file manager looks very much like any other file manager that you would have on your computer or in Dropbox or Box or Google Drive or any other location where you manage the, your files so one of the things I want to do first is if I scroll right to the bottom you can see that it'll tell me how much space I've got left so in this case I've got a hundred percent of one gigabyte used so this is at the time when I'm going to need to request additional space from the canvas team each of the courses have a default size limit to them and as you start approaching that size it's probably a good idea to request uh, increased space on the canvas server prior to reaching the 100% range. So if I'm looking for ways to fix this right now without having to go in and actually wait the time that it will take for the Canvas team to address this issue, and it usually doesn't take that long, but one of the things I can do is I can look to see what kind of files we have here so what I'm doing is looking through and clicking on each of the individuals to see what they've got in there mainly to see if there are video files because if there are video files there those can actually be hosted in Kaltura and they don't take up any space when it comes to the total space that you have on canvas so that's always the first thing that you want to look for when you're managing files the second thing is you want to look for duplicate files one of the things that canvas will do is the if you've uploaded a file say a file that's called lecture dot ppt so you've let, uploaded a powerpoint lecture called lecture dot ppt if you were to notice that there were things that you needed to change in that file that you change them in your version on your computer and then you uploaded it again canvas will keep both copies of that file so that there would be a lecture.ppt file there and then a lecture space one.ppt and then if you noticed during the actual lecture itself that you delivered in the classroom that there was something else that you needed to either update or change or edit and you did that after class and then you uploaded an, up, uh, an updated version of the file then it would up, upload as lecture space 2.ppt so you've got three versions of what is essentially the same file on your um, in your canvas drive now all taking up the same amount of space so that's one of the things that we can always look for now one of the difficulties with trying to see that is you'll notice that here um, we don't have the ability to push this over a bit so I can see what those are um, and as you can see from my screen it's taking up the full size one of the things that we can do is we can actually hide this menu over here so these three little bars that you see up here anytime I click on those it actually hides the course menu for me which is always a, a useful function um, so that way it gives me a little bit more real estate on my screen now in this case you'll notice I still don't have the ability to see what these files are and even if I sort of double click on this it doesn't this part of the menu doesn't go away um, so the other thing that I can do is if I were to click on it you'll notice that the file name will show up here on the top part of the screen and one of the things that I always go looking for when I'm looking for duplicate files is files that were uploaded oftentimes on the same day that ha occupy the same amount of size so when I see something like this so you see 38.9 here duplicated both of which were done on the 3rd of January that usually indicates to me that this could be the same file that's been uploaded twice so I can check that by first 
clicking on the one that's on top and I can see that the full name is 2019-1-17-is. or sorry dash gi mod dash lecture dash gi dash imaging dash kaufman dash one dot ppt dot ppt now if I just sort of you know click on escape so I get rid of that or if I clicked on somewhere else on the screen it would do the same thing now I can click on this one and you'll see it's roughly the same name except for it doesn't have the one at the end so this is an example of where we've got the same file here that's been uploaded twice so it's taking up both um, you know so those 40 megabits are basically there that are duplicated now if I was the instructor I would know which of these ones that I've added into the lecture and by the looks of the date I'm gonna guess the lecture was on January 17th so I could go back to that page and see which of these two files were the ones that I actually linked in because many people will delete the older file the one that didn't have the one in it because the one the one that had the one at the end of it is the most recent one that's been uploaded but that's not necessarily the one that you linked into the page so you want to go back to the page where you found this and see which of these two were in there so if we were to do that let me go back and get my menu item again let's go back to the home page and let's find it'll probably be here 117 and let's go to 117 um, I'm gonna guess that it's the gastronomical or gastrointestinal one and I can see that the file that was linked in was the original one so the updated file wasn't the one that was no actually that's not the right file anyway so that's not the particular week that it is so let me see if it's this file so it's not that file there so as you can see this is a good reason why you wouldn't want to go in and start deleting someone else's files because again I'm looking through and I don't know where that file has been linked to in the content so I can't double check to see which one is the correct version or which one is the version that's linked so I wouldn't delete either of those files but I would let the faculty member know that they've got two copies of it there so that they can delete it and this is something that you can do individually as you're going through so again over here in the course menu you can click on your files and in the case of this particular course everyone has got their own folder that won't always be the case in some cases you'll just have to look to see who uploaded the file and you can see here it always says modified by so that'll give you a sense as to if there aren't individual directories here so say all of the files are loaded up into a single directory the modified by column will always help you find which one yours are and if you actually click on the modified by you can have it so that it will organize it by the modified by as opposed to by the course name um, in this case because everyone has uploaded their own files even if I hit the modified by it doesn't change anything because it's only one person per folder that's uploading any of these items so that's a little bit about file management and how you can sort of go in and check to see if you have files that may be duplicates and if they are then you want to go and check to see which version of the file you actually linked into your page and then if you wanted to delete one of the files um, say for example I see these two here are roughly the same size um, little bitty files but roughly the same size and they were all uploaded on the same day so if one of these were a duplicate or one or more of them were a duplicate I could go in and figure out which one I had linked into the page and maybe it was the second one here that I linked into the page so for the other ones I could click on these three dots over here on the right hand side and one of the options for me is to delete that file so once you identify which files you aren't using that are duplicate then to delete the files that you uh, aren't using you can just hover over here on the very far right hand side and you'll see you'll get these three little dots that show up 
and if you click on the three little dots one of your options is to delete the file so that's been a little look at some file management issues and some of the things that you can do to ensure that you don't run out of space on canvas and to help alleviate some of those issues when you're getting close to running out of space having said that if you do notice that you're getting 70 percent or higher um, in terms of your total canvas usage please let the canvas team know and we will take steps to address that issue